When my wife and I moved into this house, we had a radon test done, and it was coming up at about 8 picocuries per liter, so we had the fan installed. I dropped it down to about 6. And um, then we went ahead and installed this vapor barrier here. And that got it down to about 4. And I guess that's good enough for EPA guidelines or whatnot, but being the engineers that we are, it just wasn't good enough. So I got one of those Corinthium air detectors off Amazon. And um, I had racked up enough bills and uh, charges from that charcoal stuff that I figured, why not? Let's get one of these digital detectors here. And um, I tested it at the same time I did a charcoal one. It was in like half a picocuri per liter. So it seemed fairly accurate. But using it in the, in the basement, you know, I'd get the same reading everywhere because the radon pretty much dissipates as soon as it comes in contact with the ambient air unless you contain the air inside a little container like I've done there. So what I've been able to find is a specific location in the basement that is emanating more radon than everywhere else. And so I'll do like a little 12 hour soak in each of these locations here and then I've written what the radon value was on a piece of painter's tape. And you can see over here it drops down Pretty dramatically three being you know what it is just in the basement air in general so you know whether there's any coming through that wall or not is unknown um, and then as you can see it kind of creeps up over here at a value of 12 and 13 which is the highest I've recorded um, in the basement um, I've done it around different points of the basement typically three was what I was getting everywhere except for right here so, I'm making this video. If you're having a radon issue, you put the fan in, um, you're thinking about putting vapor barrier up, um, it might be worth it to get a digital detector, kind of encapsulate it up against the wall or floor in certain locations, and maybe see where it's coming in. You know, it's in the soil. I live in South Carolina. Um, it just naturally occurs from uranium decaying in the soil. But it can be more concentrated in some places than in other places so i hope this helps somebody diagnose uh, the issue maybe help pinpoint where their problem is coming from and uh, save them a little time and effort